Hi, my name is Scott, I'm an online fitness and transformation coach, and I have a massive passion for training and getting into shape. However, I took the bump too far this time, and this isn't the first time. But like before, I'm going to be getting myself shredded again by following this exact diet that I'm going to be showing you today. But firstly, why am I doing this? I'm heading to my bed for three months this summer, so I want to be looking the best I possibly can. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're looking for some inspiration to be looking and feeling the best you can for this summer. So, let's get into the full day of eating. Meal number one, 80 gram of oats, 200 ml of almond milk, 200 ml of water, 30 grams of vegan protein powder and a sliced banana on top. So, the first note is going down and I'm going to try and give you as many tips as possible throughout this whole video so you gain as much as you can basically. Tip number one, try and delay that first meal as long as possible. If you're not hungry, don't eat. You want to save those calories for as late as possible in the evening. And another tip, and that is to get used to lower calorie options as soon as possible. So I have almond milk instead of semi-sim milk. It's going to be saving those calories which I can have with actual food. Lifesaver. Anyway, let's eat some food. Meal number one, Bosh. Meal two, aka snack number one, is a protein bar. Literally just to tie me over in between work block and before the gym and before my main lunch. So yeah. Meal number three consists of 400 grams of potato, microwaves, seasoned with salt, pepper, smoked paprika, mixed herbs, and then put in the air fryer. Along with this, I have 200 grams of beef mince, also seasoned, and then stuck in the air fryer, and topped off with a load Absolutely of Absolutely love this meal, and I'm convinced better than any chef out there. Not even joking you. Anyway, tip time, and you want to be eating as much food as possible for the least calories possible, aka volume. So basically, bulk your food up with veg, as much veg as possible, avoid the oils, because that oil isn't gonna fill you up compared to the veg, because the veg is basically zero calories, anyway. Anyway, but anyway, time to eat, and I literally can't wait to eat this. But yeah, in a second. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Number four, pre-workout, which consists of four rice cakes, jam, apple, and an energy drink. Let's eat this, and get ready for the gym. Meal five and last big meal of the day, 400 grams of potato, microwave, seasoned with salt, pepper, smoked paprika, mixed herbs, and then air fried, and then 200 grams, 7% turkey mince, seasoned, air fried again, a shit ton of veg. Meal number five, and the reason why it's basically the same is because one, it is very satiated so it'll be full for longer, two, veg, just box your plate out, and just three, I just want to mix between different meats. So yeah, that is that. Also a carbonated little fizzy drink, so it makes you kind of feel a little bit full as well, and a little bit of sweet chilli sauce just because I like to mix it up, be a little bit spicy sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna munch this down and then I'm gonna get back to you when I have my last snack of the day. So let's eat. I finished the evening off with a cup of tea and a protein bar. I normally have a my protein one, but I ran out so I've got a grenade one, unfortunately. And that is my full day of eating wrapped up. It's so, so important to realize though that this is not why I eat every single day. It's just 99% of the time, I'm not gonna lie, because sometimes I'll swap this protein bar out for a bit of chocolate, or I'll just take a little bit of potato out of my meals and get some chocolate then, because I'm not a robot. I like chocolate, I still like to treat myself. And it's so, so important that you don't restrict yourself on the diet, because as soon as you start restricting yourself, you set yourself up to fail. But if you do want some help with your training and nutrition on a build up to summer, I do have spaces available for my one-to-one -one online coaching. So follow the link below, apply it, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.